Hello again. So we have reached exercise 9, which was to find the maximum value of n integer using the max function. So we need to rewrite the maximum function between two integers. And then we need to read n integers from the keyboard and find their maximum. So we will not be allowed to use any array. So it's very easy. So as, uh, um, as we are reading the integers, we will calculate we are calling the maximum function so the maximum function uh, it takes uh, um, just uh, two integers so and a and b and it will return one of these depend on who is the maximum so if a is greater than b i will return a otherwise i will return b and if a is equal to b i will return b so then they are equal and then we need to read an integer so the user should uh, enter a value of n so you can again uh, make sure that n is positive so you can place it in between um, a do while so this can f and print f so i keep it this for you and then uh, so i need to just print enter n and then I need to loop n times in order to read. So I'll use a counter. So for i equal to 0, you can start from 1 to i less than n, i plus plus. And then I do uh, print f, enter element percentage d, i plus 1, since you are starting from 0. And I need to save the number. So let's say I will be using a variable called nb also for the number. And of course, I'll be using a one for the max. So at each time, the maximum would contain the function max. So let's uh, write it uh, capital so that we don't mistake it with the variable. So it's the maximum between two variables. So at each time, I will be doing the maximum between the old, oldest maximum and the newly read variable. So first time max should contain a number. So we don't know what nb could be. So uh, usually we put the most smallest number, which is int min. And of course, I need to include limit.h. We already uh, dealt with these uh, functions. And at the end, I will print the maximum. So let's uh, see, so let's enter five numbers and see what will happen. So five, four, six, nine, minus four, and five. So the maximum is equal to nine. So let me repeat quickly. So we have found the maximum between n integers. So we have looped n times each time we're reading a number and we are calculating the maximum between this number and the old and the previously encountered a maximum so this is the idea so at first maximum should contain a number it should contain the minimum number number that can exist in an integer and this is it for the exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to write to me and i will answer you back and again thanks for watching